Hello mathematicians. On this day I do want to show you how we can fill in this table using our calculators. And I'm going to show you one, two, three different ways to do it. So one, the first one's going to be the longest and probably the one that's most natural to you right now. Then I want to show you two other faster methods. In fact, the last method is so fast, it's once you enter the data, it takes just a few keystrokes to do all this. Okay, so let's hop to it. So um, over here, I've already taken the, the 2,400 and multiplied it by, again, let's see what we're uh, looking at here. We are going to multiply, we're going to substitute each one of these x values into the model to try to get a sense of what we are predicting. And here is the observed, and the residual, of course, is going to be the observed minus the predicted. So let's start by filling in that right here. And so this shows you that 2,400 2, multiplied by, oops, so let's go ahead and uh, reselect that. Notice that if I arrow up, I can pull that down, and then I can uh, delete something here. So I'm going to delete that, and it's 0 0.15. So here we go, 760. So that's what I'm going to put here, $760. Okay, so what's the residual on that? Now by hand, or by hand, by, by calculator, step by step, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to take this number, the 4845, and I'm going to subtract from here. So 484.5, and I'm going to subtract the answer. The way to get this number without having to type it, I can just pull it down just by, if you notice right here, the A and S above. So if I do second and answer, it's going to pull down the answer from the previous problem and hit enter and I see I get negative 275.5. So I'm gonna enter that. And to square the residual, I just take the answer here and square it. If I just press the square button, it's gonna pull answer down. And I do that and so now I get <laughs> 7590.25. Okay, and then we can keep doing that over and over again. Now, as we see that took a lot of steps so let's speed it up just a little bit right here. If you go into y equals, and I'm going to clear out everything here, so just clear out that, and I'm going to enter the formula, this one right here, into y1. So uh, that's 2, 4, 0, 0, parentheses, x, and x is this button right there. And I don't even need the parentheses on that one. Uh, and then we're going to say uh, plus the 400. And there we go. So I'm going to quit by doing second and mode because I'm doing the blue above. Okay, now if I can, just like we did with function form back in the old days, uh, you know, we do something like um, f of x, right? So essentially with, with a calculator, I'm going to pull up the name of the function. And we know what the name of the function is. It's the y1, not y2, not y3. It's this function right here. So where does that live? you have to look in variables right here. So see this button, vars? So go ahead and click vars. And we're gonna scroll right to go to y variables. So use the arrow key to go right. And then we're gonna hit enter for function. And then we're gonna hit enter again for y1. So notice how that was done. Y1 is now here. So let me just show you that real quick. I'm gonna clear that out. Do vars, scroll right, enter, enter. And now we can use parentheses just like we did with function form. And I'm going to enter in the 484.5. Where did that come from? That's the x value right here. Oh, I'm sorry. See the x value should be there. So I'm going to go back and change that. So it's going to be 0 0.15 0 .15 and parentheses and hit enter. And notice we get that same value we got previously here. So. Now we can put that in there, 760. Okay, and now how do I do the residual? Well, the residual now I do by hand the same method. Now, why is this a little bit faster? Watch this. If I pull down the Y1 and I scroll right, or left, excuse me, all I have to do is change this, the 0.15 to a 0.16, and now I hit enter. And now I get 784. 784 here. And now 
do the same thing. Scroll up, select, and scroll left and replace that with an 18. There we go. So I get 8, 3, 2. Now these seem quite a bit off. And then, of course, we would do by hand the same way, not by hand, but by calculator, the same idea here. Now, let me show you the last method, which is going to feel the most confusing, but in fact, this is uh, what we're going to be spending our time on quite a bit more later. So I'm going to take the data. I'm going to take all this data right here. And I'm going to enter that into a table. And the table uh, and these um, columns are called L1, L2. Then I'm going to use a formula to fill in L3, formula to fill in L4, and a formula here is going to get L5. So watch the magic here. So come on over, and we're going to go into our stat button. So see the stat button right there? Click stat. And what we're going to do is edit things. So hit enter for edit. First, I'm going to clear these out real quick. And the way to uh, do that, the fastest way is just use the memory button right here. So I'm going to go down second and memory. And I'm going to clear all the lists. So if you hit the number four and then hit enter, it's going to clear all my lists. So go back to stat. And I'm going to go into edit. And notice that my lists are now clear. So I'm going to enter the data exactly as I see it here. All of this is going to go in there. So uh, 0 0.15 and 0 0.16, 0 0.18, 0 0.25, 0 0.27, 0 0.33, and then 0.23. Always, always, always go back and just do a quick double check that your data is accurate. All right, now in L2, I'm going to repeat that, but this time I'm going to use this data right here. 484.5, 507 flat, 702 flat, 693 flat, 0, 1080, 1417.5, and 829.5. Now this one has a lot more data in it, so let's just do a quick double check. 829.5. And we're double checking 1080, 963, 702, 507. And scroll up here to just double check the 4845. Sweet. OK, so this one's just about data entry and getting it accurate. So scroll right and go up. Press up on the calculator so that your L3 is highlighted. Now what we're going to do is enter a formula here. And it's going to autofill everything down below. So watch the magic here. So this is the stuff we're going to enter here. I'm going to enter this formula right there, the 2400. But instead of the x, I'm going to put in L1. Because what I'm going to say is fill in this entire column, this entire column with L1. So this one gets filled in, goes here. This one gets filled in, goes here. This one, etc. So let's do that. So down here, I'm just going to enter uh, 2, 4, 0, 0. And instead of saying x, I'm going to say L1. Where does L1 live? See above the 1. So if you do second and L1, there's L1. So it says 2400 times L1. So this one goes there. This one goes there. I'm not done with my formula. I need the plus 400, doot, doot, like that. So watch the magic. Boom, hit enter. Notice it fills out super quickly, exactly as we were seeing earlier in that other data. And now the benefit of using our table here is now I can do residual fairly quick. Remember what residual is. Residual is your observed minus the predicted observed minus the predicted. Well, this is the observed. L2 is observed. okay, And L3 is my predicted. So really, this formula is L2 minus L3. L2, the observed, minus the predicted, what we get there with our formula. So highlight the L4 by scrolling up. And now start typing in. We just need to get to the L2. So second L2 minus L3. And hit Enter and watch this. Brrr, done and done. 
Notice that negative 275.5 is what we got earlier. Now, notice I need to square all that. So what's the magic here? Scroll up to L5. And all we do is call up the L4 right there because I'm going to square this whole column. So do second and L4 and square. Hit enter. <laughs> Fills it all in. And of course, the next, now we've squared it. So how do we sum all that? How do we sum all that? Well, if we quit out here, in the stat function here, I've got some calculations. Maybe it's the math. Let me see which one. Maybe it's in test math number. Or is it in lists? Sometimes I forget here. Um, operations. Oh, there it is. And it is. Let's see, some, there it is. Okay, so let me show you where it is. So I exit out here under the list button. So second list, and I'm gonna go to the math. And what am I gonna do? I'm gonna find the sum of something. So notice, just hit five. And now I'm gonna find the sum of the L5. So do second, L5, end parenthesis, hit enter. And this actually gives us our final answer. So now I can write that down. Here is the 237 and 778.75. And that's what goes there. So a little bit tedious, but once we realize that our calculators are quite useful, this can be done much, much faster. So I suggest practicing that a few times. And, uh, and even on this one, we're going to do it on the next page as well. So thank you very much. Enjoy.